All right, hi guys. Hello, hello. Thanks again for joining um, today's conversation. I'm Lisa Diche. I'm the Director of Alumni Engagement at Brooklyn College. I definitely want to start off by welcoming our Brooklyn College alums and our very special speakers. So thank you everyone for joining us. Um, again, today's program is being recorded. You'll receive a link to view and share that. Um, you'll notice again, the, um, the Zoom has the chat feature enabled. So please feel free to share questions as you think of them. I have also passed along anything submitted in advance. So those have been sent to our moderator. And with that in mind, I just wanna go ahead and introduce our moderator. So Daniel Lugo, who you see on your screen, Lugo graduated in 2001. He works as a DGA first assistant director. His first AD credits include A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night, the indie feature Adam, The Evening Hours starring Lily Taylor and the second season of Bonding on Netflix. Lugo, I think I actually did that bio um, before a few, I, I think you already added a ton to it, but I'll leave it at that for now. Um, but additionally, Lugo is the president of the Brooklyn College Film Alumni Association. So he is really the one who put a lot of this together with um, Judith and the, also the association's help. Um, we're so grateful to have you, Lugo, and I am just gonna pass it on to you. So thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, so, um, hey everybody. Um, so yeah, so just a brief kind of um, thing about our, the Brooklyn College Film Department Alumni Association. Uh, this organization that was created a few years ago um, and sort of our goal um, is kind of twofold, right? So uh, one is to sort of um, give back to the students, right? So we organize screenings and uh, workshops for the current student body. Right. But the second part of what we're trying to do uh, is to promote uh, a camaraderie among uh, the alumni. Right. Um, just in in my own experience working on film sets, I've always run into students that went to Brooklyn College. Right. And, you know, you always think about the other film schools, the bigger film schools. Um, but um, yeah, the second part of this is sort of create a community of people who are professionals that are working in the industry, right? Uh, mm -hmm. And so with that said, I was on Facebook a few months ago and I saw that Sung Ho, who I went to school with, Sung Ho Kim, mm -hmm. who is in Korea right now and is at uh, 7.30 in the morning. Thank you for yes. doing this, by the way. <laughs> um, that, you know, he had, a, he had a Netflix show and I was like, oh my God, this is incredible. Like, you know, uh, we're looking to promote uh, students and former students and what their projects are. And this was a, sort of how this sort of came together. So Sung Ho, uh, we're probably gonna go into, I'll ask you about like what you've right. been doing and sort of um, like how you found the college and what right. films that led up to your show on Netflix, uh, Mood to Heaven, which by the way, congratulations, man. I've, I watched it and it's great. I was I was blown away, man. It was Thank so you, good. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so when, so when did you graduate from from the college? Uh, the Brooklyn College? Yeah. Yes, I went to Brooklyn College like uh, 1996, because uh, actually I graduated from the, you know, the university in Korea, the major was architecture design. So I, I was actually worked in architecture design company for a year. And then I decided to, you know, to study the film. So I just quit the job and then I went to New York and then I just go to the, the Brooklyn College. And um, actually there was a the course for the, the film the production is, uh, as a you know, certificate program. So I went to like uh, Brooklyn College two years. So I graduated like 1998. And then oh, I go to, yeah, 1998. From 1996 to 1998. Wow, I would have thought that, because um, I graduated in uh, in '01, I thought that we were the same class again. But I guess we weren't. No, no. <laughs> actually, the, I I went two years because uh, I just you know to transfer from the the university from Korea to yeah. the, the Brooklyn College, so it's uh, almost two two years and a half, and I went to the new school for the, the master degree. So oh. actually, I graduated two thousand one in the new school. Yeah. It was a it was a master degree in new school, the media studies. Media studies. Yes. Okay. And how did you how did you come across Brooklyn College? Like, 
like how did you find that that was that they had a film oh, department and that right actually the, when i come to new york the uh, i just i just come i, I you know just, i did uh, just apply some the, the language school for the first time because yeah. uh, you know i don't have any uh, uh, reason to you know come to New York, so I I, I talked to my parents and uh, I want to talk, I want to study more, but uh, I, I'm gonna I might change the you know the, my majors. <laughs> I can say that like <laughs> film department or film <laughs> because. But uh, was 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 that the goal? Was that what you wanted to do? Like you wanted to go and study yes. film? Yeah, that was the game. Right, right. So I went to actually the language school in Adelphi University in Long Island, and mm -hmm. then. During the, that time, I, I searched the school, and um, I, I I I found uh, some school in New York, so like, like a Baruch or you know Parsons or you know the Columbia University NYU, and I, actually I applied them all, and I, I got some admission from the school, but uh, the Brooklyn College is uh, very close to me, and um actually they're the relatively they're cheaper than you know the private school like NYU and Columbia. Yeah. So there's a chance to, you know, work in college too. So I I, I saw the curriculum and the curriculum is a, like, a, it's, it's best for me. So I just choose, I just choose the Broken College. And I, I met a incredible, the teachers in Broken College. I know, it's, it's yeah. incredible. And like right. all the people that I run across, um, you know, they always have stories about, you know, Professor Hornsby or Professor Tutak oh. or, you know. Oh. Um, yeah, Hornsby Tutak, Wise Brooks. <laughs> yeah, Wise Brooks, yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, so I'm assuming that your experience at Brooklyn College was was good. Yeah, it was incredible. You know, actually, I studied in architecture design and I just quit the job and I, I want to, you know, I, I decided to study film. So I was so, I have, a, I had a lot of passion to, you know, to study. And, uh, but in that time, I'm, because of the reason I come to New York, the, I was so disappointed in Korea, in the university. The teacher is, doesn't have any passion to, you know, teach. Yeah. But, uh, you know, broken college, I I, uh, I I touched and I moved from by the you know teachers. They are so so much have a passion, and yeah. uh, I have uh, everything I should learn from you know filmmaking. So it was a great experience in the school. Yeah, and the student too. You know, the, the lot of classmates have a, they have a lot of passion to you know, make a film at that time. We actually we we you know at that time you. We use uh, the films, not our videos. You know, and, yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, we learned uh, the expensive way. Right. You, know, to, <laughs> you really had to plan your shots because if you uh, you couldn't just let the camera roll. Uh, right. It was too expensive. <laughs> expensive, you know. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, I was going to say too that I mean, there's a lot of uh, the, the guys that I that we went to school with that I still, you know, work with and you know, mm -hmm. just just hang out with and you know. Right. Yeah. Because it was all over the Brooklyn, or even go to the Bronx, and, the yeah, yeah, yeah. and it was such a wide variety of students. Right. I feel like it's still the same. Like I've been back uh, yeah. a couple times to teach a class and go to like a reunion, and you know, it seems like it still has that same diversity right. of, of student, which I thought was uh, was interesting. You know, because you had all kinds of age groups and different cultures all in, right. Right. We we're all helping each other make our movies. You know, right. they're still all. From the world, like from Japan or from Greece or from yeah. Europe, <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> I remember there was one. I can't remember his name. But there was one student that went to school with us. He might not have. Maybe you didn't know him, but he lived in Texas. He would fly in for the classes. Oh really? Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I was like, <laughs> that's a that's a long way to go for some uh, <laughs> classes, but. Um, Romel, do you remember Romel? Oh, uh, uh, okay, I remember Romel. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He lived like he lived. I guess he had a place in New York, but he lived in Texas and would fly. Okay, back and forth. Uh, uh, so I uh, obviously I want to talk about the Netflix show, yes. but I'm kind of interested to know, like, so, so when you graduated mm -hmm. uh, from the new school, 
Right. Like, what was that journey that you had that led you to uh, making this project with Netflix? And I don't know it's a <laughs> a big question to ask, but right, um, it's a it's a very long term, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> from, uh, from the graduation, it's like a 2001. Just yeah. before the 911, I just left. Uh, I, I came to Korea, but uh, because I, I want to make a film uh, by myself, you know, for the for credit for the, the director. So I just uh, finished the script, the feature film. So I went. Uh, there is a chance to you know pitch my project in you know, a Busan Film Festival. There's a big you know film film fest, international film festival in Korea. So there was a it was the first time to you know pitch the, the new directors. So I, I applied that and they just invited me to pitch. So I went to the film festival and I, 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 I'm talking about my project, but uh, because uh, I have no relationship, you know, no network in Korea, I, I wasn't just working in the you know, architecture company. So I just studied in the filmmaking in New York, in the US, but back to Korea, nobody knows me. So that's the, kind of uh, be lucky, you know, <laughs> nobody knows me. So they very curious about me also. <laughs> so that was uh, uh, the Into the Mirror, the, 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 the title of the movie. And mm -hmm. actually it made it uh, by two years. It, it takes two years, but uh, 2003, I just made uh, my the first feature film and screened in uh, Korea. And I'm, um, it was a horror film, it's about the mirrors, but uh, it was a quiet, you know, they have a, they liked that film very much. And um, the, the film festivals in the world, they invited the, the, the movie. And then finally, they remake in the US. The oh, really? mirror. Really? Yeah, the mirror, the key for Sutherland. Oh, really? Wow, yeah, no, I, I remember yeah, yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, wow, that man. Film is a, the, the remake it's... of my film. Is your film available to like stream anywhere? Like, can people see it? Like, yeah, the the mirror is a remake of the, the in the U.S. The styling the Kiefer Sutherland. And mm -hmm. there is the, another film. It's a Mirror Two. It's a second film. It's a, it's in the DVD, but it's not. I I heard it's a, it's not on the screen. It's, they have a DVD, but in the DVD they have a, the Mirror Two and the, the original film. It's my film. The, the Into wow. the Mirror. <laughs> it, it was like a 2007 or eight something like yeah. that so <laughs> it was a big chance you know to make the you know make a, keep making the film in the korea and um but uh, you know there is the well, as well as the same in the u.s there is it's a lot of difficulty in making the korea keep go keep making you know uh even even you make the one the second one is very harder you know, to make uh, you know, in progress. So it takes a lot of time. But usually they make a one film, like it takes like a four or five years for director. So I, I just decided to, to make uh, the small budget or the short films as well as you know, the, like, uh, the low budget film. So I made a lot of you know, omnibus films and I just, you know, working with working with the, the short films, and then I I made the, like a, the I changed because uh, into the mirror the it's a horror film. The everybody the proposed me it's like a, a horror film also. So I made some more horror films in Korea. Well, at that time like uh, I a little bit tired of you know making the horror films. So I want to change the you know the genre that uh, drama so there is a how to steal a dog is actually the u.s novel uh, barbara o'connor is our author and um, they bought the the right to make the film in korea so i i wrote the script the adapted script and um uh, i just made it and then you know the screen in the 19 no it's 2015 and then from the, that time uh, they <laughs> They suggest me a lot of you know the dramas and yeah. right. So that's why the Netflix offered me like a move to heaven. So you made the, the 
how to steal dog and then it's uh, it's touched and moved the you know films so maybe you are fit in the moved tavern so i just okay. accept it and I, I just made the last year oh, so 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 they presented you with the with the project right wow and were you uh involved in the writing of it like uh, or were they did they just present you with like scripts and saying, are you interested? Okay, right. In that time, that is, it was like uh, two years ago, you know, like uh, uh, September is nine, 2019, uh, 2019. And um, they actually already finished the four episode, first uh, four episode. And I, I read the four episode first time. And um, I, I decided to involve, you know, in the, the project. And then the, I met the, the screenwriter Actually, she was from the TV drama in Korea. And uh, we uh, talk about a lot of things about the uh, you know, trauma cleaner or themes or episodes or stories. And, and we finished like from five to 10 episodes. And then I, I changed a little bit, uh, actually a lot of things in, in uh, the, from the script because uh, the script is, uh, was so flat in the, at the first time. So, because of, you know Netflix and the production company always said like uh, make make them cry, <laughs> make it sad. <laughs> so, but uh, I said I, I keep saying like uh, I don't want to be <laughs> you know, making cry. That because if you push them, you know, make them cry, they don't cry. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, I just I just uh, want to make it as you know as dry as uh, I want. So cool way so <laughs> i changed a lot of things because there's a lot of flashback or there there's another not a, a lot of the narrations or explanations so i don't want to do this so i just you know, keep removing the flashbacks and narrations so make it you know more neat on or you know, like yeah, a dry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah just have the to have variety right i mean that's kind of like because it felt like the, the style of it also had a lot of different uh, had variety. Like it wasn't like you were shooting a a straight drama or like a you know suspenseful thing. Like it felt like there was different things to it. Was that right. something that you did it purposefully? Like that you yeah. wanted it to have a like you were saying, just a variety of right. Take them on a journey, right? Right. Yeah. Because not the. Uh, if you see the, the K drama, or if you if you know the the, the environment of K drama, the making the production, they're so fast. Uh, they have a low budget and they have a very short schedule, so you don't actually you can do anything about the, you know like a directing or you know art director or something like that. You just shoot, <laughs> you just shoot, keep shooting, or for the just dialogue, you know, yeah. with, the, with the actors. So uh, in Netflix, I just asked to ask them that I am from the movie, I am I, I, from the filmmaking. So I want to make them in my way and they just uh, let me do that. So we had uh, like a six months production. Uh, we mm -hmm. have uh, like a uh, uh, hundred times the shooting and, and we organized everything in the schedule with the budget. So uh, actually, I designed everything in, in the production as well as you know the art and music or editing. So this is a story about the, the alone dead people, and um, there's a lot of episode, like a different episode, different locations. But it all have it all happens in the city. It's a big city, so that's why they have a job because they don't have any family or friends. So just, they just dead alone. So we need a cleaner for the space. So the every the, you know, death has a, their own space. It's very uh, miserable or poor. And uh, it's very, you know, it's kind of you know, remote. It's isolated with the people. So I want to show the, the big city the mega city is a lot of people living there, but they don't, you know, care each other. Yeah. Even next door, there's a the 
people is dying, but next door, the neighbors, they don't know, even the smell is coming out. So I want to see that, the, is that kind of irony from the, the big city. So that's why I'm sure the, a lot of different, you know, kind of the places in Korea or even especially in Seoul. Is Seoul is a, 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 it's a big city, but uh, there's a lot of place. It's a very different, so I want to show that. Yeah. One of the things I kind of noticed too that I really loved about the show was that the structure of the episodes, it seemed to me like you were sort of buttoning up a, a storyline in the middle of the episode and then beginning that next story. All right. I thought it was so, was so cool to sort of hook people into. Right. So it's a hook, you know? right? <laughs> yeah. So it's not like just like a little cliffhanger thing to get people. It was like, you know, you got like the first act of a, of a new storyline, you know? Yeah. That's a, actually the, there's a tradition in K-drama, you know, every oh, time. Oh, you, okay. I was, I was <laughs> yeah, unaware. It's at the moment of the, you know, very exciting and they just cut it. <laughs> okay, then they go to bed, <laughs> right? So okay. it's the kind of a commercial things, I think. <laughs> but uh, even in the narrative, in the story, there's a lot of, you know, the crisis or the, the moment of, a, you know, inciting instant. So I want to show something because uh, I was a, uh, the make the film is it's like a 90 minutes or 120 minutes to write but it's very short but uh, compared with the uh, drama but this is my first time to make the drama it's a uh, 10 episodes every episode has a uh, 50 minutes so it's a uh, long it's uh, so 500 <laughs> minutes so i don't wanna you know people just uh you know just give up at the middle of the, the drama so yeah, yeah. Yeah, because uh, even, you know, this drama has uh, all different episodes. Every time, you know, you have a different character with, a, with different characters. So uh, I, I really want, you know, I really thinking about, the, you know, how to keep the audience to watching the drama yeah. all the time to the end. So it was my, you know, <laughs> the worries, yes. Yeah. And you know, I was trying to remember because I, I remember some of your films in college, and I don't remember them being dramas. With which one? I remember one animation thing that you did. Oh that yeah, was, that was really really good. Yeah, yeah, it was a, a lot of animations. <laughs> yeah, cause, and as you know, like all the students, like my student film, like it was like oh, super yeah. dramatic, like you know, right. and tongue holes with like this like fun little like it looked it was kind of like a Pixar-y kind yeah. of like. It, it was a the title like was a catch story, up, right? Catch up story. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I knew the catch up butters, you know, to make the animate. You no, know, I was a uh, so I mean, I was so you know, thinking about the uh, filmmaking at that much. And um, uh, the most prob the big problem is uh, the, the money. <laughs> yeah. it's for me, the so money is a big issue because I don't have any money, so I, I want to you know, making the Film, I, I want to, to study the filmmaking and I finished, but uh, I don't have any money so I can make a film. <laughs> That's a big problem. So I, I, I asked, you know, you, you remember the, I asked the Brooks, the, uh, what will I do with, after the graduation? And she said like, uh, get a license, get a driving license, <laughs> you know, driving taxi in Manhattan. <laughs> and, uh, like the script. And she, she said, I remember, but the, I want to make a film, but I don't have any money. So I just choose the, like animations because animation I can make my own by, by myself without, you know, just the, the ketchup bars and on any yeah. clay, something like that. So uh, I really seriously think about uh, be an animator or something like that, because I, I can, I can, I can to use the, the cat like a uh, studio, the 3G, animations so i can use the three animations or i can do the, the stop motion animations so i want to be an actor I, I, animator because i don't have money at that time so i made some short animations <laughs> more move it took me a while to pay off my film so yeah. <laughs> All right. um and it, i just want just like a technical thing what did you shoot move to heaven on like what what camera did you use and 
Oh, we we used uh, like uh, the Sony camera. It was a uh, uh, like a Venice or uh, oh, the Venice, yeah. Venice, yes, with the yeah. RE lens. Uh, because uh, the Netflix want uh, the high definition, you know, resolution of uh, the film, the the filmmaking, you know, the making production. So usually they shoot in like 4K, but the the Netflix ask us uh, to make a uh, 6K. So. 6K. Yeah, 6K. So we, we actually, they, the company bought the, the Sony camera from the Japan. They just imported it. It was a new camera. So and uh, we got the new lens from the Aries. So we used uh, the Sony camera and the Aries lens. It looked amazing. Like it was, it was so good. Yeah. Um, what have you, do you use the same crew? Like, do you have like a base crew of people that you've, over your projects over the years that you've uh, you were able to bring on to the the new show yeah actually i really want to you know make uh, my own team <laughs> but yeah. it's very hard you know every time i work with that uh, i have a little problems with the crews or staffs on our you know people so i just choose from the beginning and then finally the, in, in in the move to heaven i have my the cinematographer and that gapper is uh, always working with with me from yeah. the, you know, the how to steal a dog or and start short films. But I still uh, looking for the like uh, the composer or editor, you know, yeah. or you know people. So we'll keep working with it. So every time we work with new people, I have to explain everything. You know, start over again. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It takes a lot of time, you know. So yeah. I don't know I how, how you like to work and how you know. Why? Yeah. Right. I mean, I, I find the two like, I also find too, like, I find a good team and then they sort of move on to right. bigger things, you know? Like, right, right. You know? That's it, a good thing, but it's a very. It's, you know, no, it's a great thing, but it's also right. like, oh man, I got to right. find another, right, right. <laughs> another person. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to look at the chat and see if there, there were some questions right. posted. Uh, let's see if we. Uh, yeah, I passed them on directly to you, Lugo. So I think at the yeah. top of the chat. I, I was just looking okay. at the first. The first one. Uh, can you tell? Can you talk about the techniques you use to move the audience to tears? Right. <laughs> and con not, and contrast it yeah. with that with the horror movie techniques. Right, that right. That's a very interesting. You know, because uh, I, I start with the horror films. I, I made a sh several horror films, and there's a certain techniques. In, you know, you know, make them. Uh, surprise <laughs> or shocked or you know so uh it's, it's all about it's, it's all about the editing you know the certain moment i want to show something or i don't want i, I want to delay the sh you know, show something so that's uh that's kind of editing but in the in the move to heaven is a uh, is uh the moment cry is kind of the storytelling is because uh i don't it's very hard to you know to make a story and then move to heaven because uh, they have a story but they are dead it's after yeah. after you know death the people comes into their space and they keep telling about the the story behind him <laughs> so i i don't want to use a flashback on you know like the, the the narration so it's very hard and it's a very short story every time you know have just 50 minutes and in a 50 minutes, I have a, you know, the, I, I had to make a story in 50 minutes. The, the characters are new, they never you know, show in the sh before. So uh, actually I focused in the, the object, like uh, the book, note, or, you know, the certain photos. And um, just, uh, I, I wanna make a mood from the, the beginning to the end. And then it shows, uh, reveal the, the the behind the stories comes out from the, the, the object uh, and then i use uh, the music <laughs> it's a music yeah. is a big thing right so yeah. actually the company netflix uh, said like uh, they want to use more you know orchestra or classic movies like uh, clash the music but the composer was uh, working with me was uh, like uh, he liked the electric music so it's kind of a little bit different music we use. 
So uh, actually, when you use the music at the moment, some kind of, you know, not the force to make them cry or be sad. So it's going to be more touch or more, you know, the sad, I think. So that's why I'm, uh, I, I really, you know, to think about the, the, the position of starting with the music. Yeah. And then also just the, the visual effects that you used mm -hmm. in it, right? So I also thought it was very interesting, sort of contrasting, like you were saying, your style. Like it was just something, like I first kind of came out of, out, out of nowhere. Like you started oh, using yeah. sort of things and then it became right. like a motif throughout the whole thing. Right, right, right. Uh, was that something that, was that your idea that kind of gets, Yes, so uh, it was uh, my idea because uh, the, in the script, the screenwriter says like, uh, she actually the screenwriter said, described as uh, the camera. It's like a click, click, click. And then just uh, uh, his frame. And then and everything is uh, just uh, the, just like a photo. So, but I said, uh, I don't want to do that. It's, uh, it's too cliche and I'm, He's not the camera. He's not the, the machine. <laughs> he's not the AI. So I want to show the something that is from the from his in mind. So I want to show the whole thing that like uh, you know that's using us computer graphics because uh, uh, in a script the the group the the main character uh, mm -hmm. he always like the encyclopedia. He loved the, the encyclopedia books. He always see the, the animal encyclopedia. So I I, I watched that, you know, I, I read the like encyclopedia and they have a lot of the illustrations. So I decided to you know, use the, that kind of uh, the lay layout from the encyclopedia. So that's why we show the whole thing that, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, it was cool. Like, I, I liked it. Um... Well, to, just to speak about the main character, like what kind of one of the questions that was in the chat is what, what kind of research did you guys do in terms of the Asperger's condition? And right. Uh, was we, that from, just kind of from the script and. Right. I actually, I watched a lot of YouTube. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Very useful. <laughs> YouTube has, has everything. Yes. But, uh, you know, the move to heaven has an original the, the essay from the, the cleaners in Korea. So we, we bought the, the, the right. Then the, the book has a own, they have, they have a own experience in the cleaning from the, the dead people and all the elder peoples. So we, I read the, the, the essay and I met the author and then he's uh, the cleaner. Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, we talk about a lot of things about the you know, cleaning things and um. Actually, uh, we had a lot of research for the, the, the process of cleaning from the beginning to the end. And uh, they, they followed the, or to capture the, the, the space. So we have studied a lot of things in you know, the cleaning things. And um, yeah, as I said, uh, I, I watched a lot of YouTube because uh, there is a lot of the, the videos in actually from Japan, not in Korea. It's actually, the Korea is not the popular, but it's Japan, the trauma cleaner is so popular in Japan. It's, it's a long history, so like a 10 really? years, like 15 years. But yeah. we just started like a one or two years. So uh, I, I watched a lot of things in the YouTube, in, the, you know, in, in YouTube, and um, I was really shocked. You know what, actually I, I read the, the essay it was so sad. It was, I was about to say, like, it must have been a pretty grim <laughs> research. Yeah, so they, they, I was so angry. But uh, when I see the script the first time, it was not sad at all. Uh, it's, yeah. uh, it's so dramatic, you know. Oh, no, not, no, no way. <laughs> Nobody well, you really, can do you really that. You care no. about the characters, though, you know. That's, yeah, you know, you, I was so, you know, worried, worried well about that. Yeah. yeah. Um, another question that, uh, how much input did you have in the casting? Oh yeah, the casting was, uh, is a, a little bit different in Korea with the Netflix, you know. When in Korea, you have to, uh, when you make the film, 
it was very, very hard to cast because uh, the cast decided to you know the, the money <laughs> investment, right? So yeah. we have to cast a big star to invest the, you know, the budget, but the Netflix said uh, uh, they don't care. <laughs> Is if you're famous in Korea, no one, no one knows in the world. So it's a, they <laughs> they said it's all same in the in a, in a aspect of a Netflix. So wow. okay, wow. I wanna you know casting whoever I want. So I just choose the people. I just ask him the actors, and the actor said. Uh, uh, I have a story. I have a drama. We are uh, we gonna shoot uh, something like this, and uh, we need. I need you. And then he said, uh, wh "What are you from?" So it was. Uh, it's from the Netflix, and they said Netflix. Oh, I shoot Netflix. Okay, so <laughs> it, it was easy, you know. Uh, so yeah. uh, every actors and actress I ask, they said, uh, "Okay, in a minute." And um, we just we work together very with a, a very very fun, and it was a pleasure. You know. That's good. Um, did you have this is kind of this is a question for me, just as a production person, like, was there mm -hmm. like a sequence or a scene that you had the most sort of challenge challenges with? Oh, uh, right. Yes. I'm sure. Everybody yeah. has one in their production. Right. right. Uh, I like I love the, the scene, the, the last scene in the last episode with the, the, the girl and um, yeah. I really, you know, I like that scene. And um, actually, I, I shoot twice because of the first one was uh, not that good. So uh, we want to make a, you know, the reshoot. So the last scene was uh, the second shoot editing. So I was uh, so, uh, uh, you know, falling in love with that, that last scene because yeah. uh, that girl is uh, from the, actually, the How to Steal a Dog is a main character. She was oh, really? a very, yeah, she was a very, the, the girl is very small, but it, she become, you know, like a teenagers. So it was a lot of mean to me. And um, actually another thing was uh, like, uh, the Sangu is another, the, 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 you know, the uncle, the, the mm -hmm. uncle's character. Uh, he has uh, the past, like a uh, backstory in the, yeah, in the yeah. past, right? And he, actually watched the, the world behind him there's uh, the parents it's like a fighting and um, in the script actually it's not that it's just the, the father you know the slapped him and um, punched him it's like a uh, so violence so uh, yeah. I, I said like I don't want to show the this this violence I, I want to just hear the sound and then he, I want him just watch the world but uh, at that time, I, I was thinking about uh, what was thinking, what was thinking to watch the world, and I, I just pop up from my mind at uh, okay, use the wallpaper. I use the wallpaper. There's the amusement park, you know, the like uh, the some kind of you know the instru the instrument, right? So yeah, yeah. He, he just uh, the look at the world, but there's the Print from the amused, amused part. So when you go to the, the episode seven or eight, there's the amused on the park the scene, and then he enjoyed the like the riding the thumbtings like a roller coaster or something. So uh, it, whenever I watch the, that moment, like a wallpaper and at the amusement park, I, I was so sad. <laughs> so I love that scene. <laughs> That's good. Um. You know, every time you know the production said like um, make him make it more dramatic, make him more sad. But uh, yeah, yeah. actually, you know what? Actually, so, I so really don't want to do that. <laughs> were there like executives though with you on set, or were you kind of just left alone to sort of? No, actually, the the with the Netflix, there's another the production company. There's a two company we work with. Yes, yeah, and um, yeah. one. Okay. One production company from the the writer, screenwriter, like agency, mm -hmm. and another production company is uh, for the just production. So I have a uh, two production and a Netflix, but yeah. but Netflix is like a just you know like a platform. They they just uh, we just uh, 
give us a chance to make a you know, drama and that they don't care anything about it. They yes. just give it the money. So it's, there was no so, there was no Netflix person sitting at a video village. No, watching. Not, at all, not at all. They just only said like uh, they have a note. They have a creative notes after the editing. So yeah. first the, the editing version is coming out. They they just give me a note. So they said that uh, uh, talk to me like uh, at when he met the first time in Netflix. So I just asked them because uh, I I thought they are the investment company something like that. So uh, yeah. okay, that note the forced to me to change it or not. So that's my question. <laughs> but they said uh, oh that's only the reference. That's that's only the opinions. So just just anything is it's it's on your you know decision they said so yeah. that's a good experience when you, when you approach them though for to say hey i want to reshoot that last scene in the last episode was that like did it take some convincing with them or were they oh uh, actually not <laughs> uh because i know as, as an ad i would be like right. oh, we got to go back and shoot <laughs> right 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 <laughs> but uh situation is a little bit different because the uh, the company the company the two company they yeah. they actually they don't like that the first shoot the, okay the okay well, so then so everybody they, was universal that hey we right should they asked me here. like uh, uh how about the uh, reshoot but i yeah. i i didn't say the let's reshoot the, at the first time no <laughs> i just <Yeah>. waiting <laughs> so when you know after when new day says first. So after that, I, okay, let's shoot. I, I thought so, I agree with that. And um, let's shoot it. But you know, cruise, all crews are like, uh, first time they they actually don't understand. Uh, oh, I have to, to reshoot. They, it was uh, good, but uh, okay. I, I I want to make it more, you know, the attractive or to, to be good, something like that. So we just, you know, just shoot it. Yeah. And um, so, how has the reaction been to the to the show? Like how? Oh, it was great. I mean, at the first time in Netflix, I I I, I offered this project. Uh, I just worry about the the end of the you know after the, the screening because uh, if you make the film to go to screen or you know to go to theater or film festivals, uh, I have a all kind of a lot of reactions. So I actually, I want to see it, but uh, in the Netflix, they only watch the Netflix people, right? The, the members from the Netflix. So uh, I don't think, I, I, I thought that it was not the good things, you know, shows that something certain members <laughs> make a film. And uh, what about the, I make the film, uh, I make the works and just uh, give it to them and they just upload it <laughs> and I'm, uh, I thought that that's all. Uh, I have uh, no reaction at all. I thought, yeah. But uh, the result, uh, I got the all kind of reaction from all over all over the world, <laughs> like uh, from you know yeah. the Asian people or, or from Europe or even the Americas. So I got the uh, IMDb or Google's. So there were a lot of you know, comments. So it was a. Uh, it was a lot of pleasure, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it was feeling, man. Well, congrats on it, man. I just, it's, yeah, it was so thanks for. <laughs> yeah. So, so what's next for you? Like, what is there a next project? Oh yeah. Uh, in thanks over the Netflix, it was uh, because uh, when I make a film in Korea, but even though I go to the film festival in the uh, abroad, like uh, you know Europe or Italy or Japan, but I I met a lot of people in the the filmmaking that country. But that's all. I I back go back come to back came to back to you know Korea and then make a, another Korean film, but. After Netflix moved to heaven, I actually I caught I, I, I got the call from the Hollywood. <laughs> no, yeah, uh, from California. They said uh, uh, they said uh, uh, they they producing like a the TV drama for Hulu and um, mm -hmm. Netflix in US. So that 
let's talk about the project. So I, 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 I talk about the, my project in progress in Korea, or I, I, I have a script to even, you know, I, I, I already written. And um, they said uh, they have uh, one or two projects uh, uh, about the uh, K-pop star or, you know, something like the related to the Korea. So yeah. I just uh, talk about uh, the project, uh, you know. Amazing, man. Yeah, so maybe I can go to Hollywood, you know. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> That's you, will. you will. Um, wait, have you been back to the U.S. since? Oh, no, no I missed oh. New York, but uh, even though, <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I, actually, the Into the Mirror, it was 2003, and after that, I finished the film, I, I, I went to New York, because uh, that time, my girlfriend was in the New York, still in the New York, so she's in my, uh, she's my wife right now, and um, after that, it's it, it, like uh, 2004, I think, 2005, yeah. After that, I, I I never been in New York. I, I missed them in New York very much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> did you, did you, did you did you live by the college when you were here? That's where you were. Oh yeah, the I live in like uh, Brooklyn. I live in Brooklyn, like a uh, area about the uh, Italian people to live. And I'm um, yeah. actually after the, the Brooklyn College, I went to New Jersey and. Um, I went. To, I I moved to Manhattan also. So, yeah, I, I moved a lot of people the place. Yeah, around the. the and it's the same story for a lot of people at, with the college at the time. It was right. always moving around. Right. Uh, well, man, listen. If you ever are in New York, please look me up, and maybe we can get you to come to the college and. Right. And teach a class or something. Oh yeah, I hope so. Yeah, yeah. I Amazing. miss that school. Uh, Flappish yeah. Avenue or Bedford Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> really? I will say the, the campus has changed a little bit since we were there. Really? But, yeah. yeah. I, I well, our, build, our building is not there anymore. The, the word Really? Our, yeah. Oh, they, my God. Yeah. They, uh, impl they imploded it, I guess. Right. More developed, right? Uh, the, 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 uh, the film department is now by the uh, football field. Oh, really? Oh, yes. so they moved. They moved, oh, I yeah. see. Okay. Uh, yeah. And they got rid of the overpass there that went over Bedford. Uh, oh, really? Oh, yeah. Uh, right, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I see. Oh, it's, uh, Remember so pushing hard. the carts over that thing? The, yeah, yeah, I know. yeah. <laughs> so you moved a new building with a uh, high tech? Because uh, we, when, I, when I was in class, there is a one the computer for the Avid. The Avid, and yeah. Was, we had the yeah, one Avid. Was, and then one, just one. And it was stolen in the during the summer vacation, you know? Yes, it <laughs> was. Remember? The Brooks I do was remember so that. angry about that because uh, some people comes to, from the ceiling. <laughs> that was a story. <laughs> yeah, there was a story. Now I remember that. You know, open the door. There is no computer. Yes. We just uh, the place the one computer and twenty people, the students, they just uh, just uh, just sit around and then they just push the button, number yes. one yes. by one. By one. We're yeah. we're definitely dating ourselves, everyone. I'm, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, when we were there, we were all just on steam backs in small little rooms in a basement. Uh, I missed the steam backs. <laughs> I, had, I had a ton of fun in those rooms, uh, hiding from security, uh, staying too late. Uh, but, uh, well, I, uh, I unfortunately have to go to a, a background meeting in eight minutes. Okay. <laughs> okay but, Sung Ho, uh, thank you so much for doing this. Thank um, you. Guys, you should check out his show on Netflix, Move to Heaven. It's streaming now. It's fantastic. Right. <laughs> and uh, man, listen, continued success, man. And listen, if you ever are in New York, please look oh, me yeah, up. Oh, yeah, I will definitely do. Yeah, yeah, I love you. I love you. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank it's, you. It's, it's nice to see you again. Yes, yeah. see you. <laughs> it's only been uh, 20 thank years. Thank you so much, guys. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa, for putting this together. Okay. Thank you guys. Um, like I yeah. said, I'll send a recording. We really appreciate this. I can't wait to um, finish watching Move to Heaven and kind of go back and watch some of the other pieces of your work that I've missed. So thanks, Lugo and Sung Ho. It was really great um, seeing Thank you guys. Thank you. Yeah. I'm sorry out. about my English. <laughs> oh, man, oh, my no. goodness. You're way, yes, way better than my Korean. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Great. Thank you. <laughs> thanks, guys. Bye. Thanks, everybody.